Today is day four of designing a spooky island in 30 days using no Nintendo Online. We have a lot to do today, but honestly, nothing really super important. And... Oh my gosh! I forgot that Tom Nook announces who the villager is. So there you go. Poppy is the first villager moving in. I'm still not going to check the other plots, but we do know that it's Poppy. Poppy's okay. He is a mid-tier villager for me, honestly, so I'm okay with it. It could definitely be so much worse. So like I was saying, before Tom Nook spoiled the surprise of who was in the plot, we have a lot to do, but there's nothing really substantial. All the other days, I feel like we've been doing the three plots, or we had to get a building moved in. At this point, I'm just trying to do all of the things that I have to do within the day to continue progressing the storyline. As well as doing all of the different daily tasks that we have to do, finding the glow spot, hitting all of the rocks. We definitely need to hit some trees and get some resources. We need to go to the Nook stop and get our miles and check what's in there. Go to Nook's Cranny and buy our piece of candy for the day and also check what's inside there. There's just a lot that we have to do. So while I was rambling on, we did find the glow spot already for our money tree, which is perfect. I think now we should go introduce ourselves to Poppy. His house is pretty cute. I mean, I think he has a dirt floor and he's sweeping it, but it is what it is. Okay, Nooks has the alarm clock, which I'm definitely gonna get, and I'm probably gonna get that throwback skull radio thing. I feel like that kind of screams Halloween. I don't know if I'll actually use it because it is so green, but maybe we could customize it from one of the llamas. If we unlock Carves Island, I don't know. We've got we've got a lot to do. I don't know if I'll get to that point. I do have some stuff to sell, and I have told myself I'm gonna sell any unwanted furniture items. I'm gonna sell any unwanted clothes. I'm gonna sell fossils after I've assessed them. I'm not donating anything else to the museum. So any bugs that I get, fish that I get, I'm literally selling it all because I feel like I need money and I don't care about upgrading the museum anymore at this point. The only thing that I'll do is once red comes, I will donate that first piece of art. But other than that, Blathers is not getting any more of my stuff. That is hard earned money that I'm donating to him for free and I'm not gonna do it. I got my piece of candy. I'm also gonna go ahead and grab some white mum flower seeds here. I really do think white flowers are gonna be the way to go. White, yellow, and orange will be the easiest. I'm not doing hybrids. I mean, I guess technically orange is a hybrid, but I feel like of the hybrids, I can get some orange flowers if I need them. Today's the day that we're learning about customization, so that is really exciting. We'll be getting some customization kits. But of course, first, we need to craft the wardrobe, which I think costs regular wood. I'm hoping that I just have it already, but there's a good chance that I don't. I really am starting to black out and not remember what materials I have. We need 12 pieces of wood, and I have seven. So not too bad. I got my bonus miles and I am going to go ahead and pick up the pretty good tools recipe. This is going to come in handy. I definitely need the stronger shovel, stronger axe, watering can, all of those things. That's what you get when you order this one. Ooh, okay. We do have some fencing options here too. I'm going to go ahead and grab both of these. The lattice and the stone fence are both great options. And I definitely think I could use both of them on this island potentially. Let's go ahead and pick these up. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. I need to go around and hit all of the rocks. I am going to start grabbing some wood because I do need to craft the wooden wardrobe. So once again, we're going to be getting materials because you can never have enough. I feel like I'm going to have to craft a bunch of stuff if I want it to feel full at all. And I don't know. I feel like even though I'm collecting a lot of resources, I'm really underestimating the amount that I'm going to need. I crafted the wooden wardrobe. Tom is teaching me how to customize. And I don't know why this first customization always takes me a few minutes to figure out which one I want to use, but I always feel like it's just such a big decision and it's not at all. 
like I said earlier, I'm going to be selling all of my fossils. So I'm hoping by doing that, that I start making a lot of money pretty quickly. Okay, so Fuchsia's in here. I thought that she would be crafting, but she's cooking. And I don't have cooking. She's making spooky cookies? I already have that DIY. Wait. Surely that's the only thing that she would ever be cooking, right? Because I really don't want them to start doing the whole cooking thing and then I don't get any DIY recipes. I definitely don't think that I did anything wrong. I haven't unlocked cooking, for sure. Oh, <laughs> I thought that Biff was crafting, but I guess that makes sense. I don't think they can craft and cook at the same time. Y'all, is it bad that Biff is really growing on me? Like, he's, he's really cute. So I spent probably an hour. Was it an hour? I don't know. It felt like a long time. I literally went around. I cleaned up almost all of the weeds on the island. I chopped down so much wood. Got all the resources from the rocks. I have full pockets right now. I did so much. The question is, is it going to be enough? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. I need to put all of this stuff away. I'm probably to the point where I can get rid of the weeds. However, I think you use weeds to craft the hay beds. And I can definitely see myself using a lot of those if I make a pumpkin patch or something like that. So I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to keep stuff as long as I can. However, the storage is going to fill up very quickly. Now at this point, I feel like I've done everything in this day. So I think honestly what I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and time travel. We're going to go to the next day and I'm going to at least start doing all of my dailies and everything for the next day. Time traveling is allowed in the rules. And I think I'm finally at the point where I can do multiple days worth of tasks a lot quicker. So I think we should go ahead and do it. We're going to find out who another villager is. All right, Tom. Tell us who it is. Who's moving in? Are they spooky? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's kidding. This is a joke. I can't stand Flora. <laughs> and I always get her. Why? I honestly don't even know at this point why I don't like Flora, but I feel like it has to be a meme. The amount of times that I've gotten Flora as an autofill is definitely meme worthy. Does playing Animal Crossing ever start to feel like Groundhog Day? Like you're just doing the same things every day? That's what I feel like right now. And I think it's just because I've been playing and trying to do literally all of the dailies over and over and over. But I'm back in Nook shopping, buying the cactus and the garden lantern and my piece of candy. Okay, Red is here today. So we definitely need to go get our first piece of art. Ship's kind of sketchy looking. I shouldn't board without asking. I guess I still have to go find him on the island. I don't know why I thought with one of the updates they stopped doing that. But I guess I need to go find him first. Ooh, y'all, look at all of our pumpkins. We got every single color variation of pumpkins. I'm going to go ahead and harvest all of these. I'm just going to start storing them because if we can get all of the different spooky DIYs that I need, I'm going to start crafting different pumpkin recipes, a lot of them, like especially the spooky tower and the little spooky lantern or jack-o'-lantern, whatever it's called. You need a lot of pumpkins for that stuff. So I'm just going to keep harvesting and just saving them. And then at some point, if I feel like I need different color pumpkins, I can plant the ones that I have and get those specific colors. But I think this is good for now. We found Red. Name's Red. I work in sales and you are Kato. What a great name. Intelligent and strong. We are going to be family Red. So now is the time when I can finally go in Red's boat. And I am going to go ahead and buy one of the pieces of art. I think you have to donate at least one thing to each exhibit to start the whole Cap'n storyline. So I wanna make sure that I do that. I've already done everything else, I just need to do the art. Okay, we have some different fences today. We have the vertical board fence, which is one of my favorites. I'm definitely gonna be picking that up. I'm also gonna go ahead and grab my hairstyle. I'm kinda of tired of the whole pigtail thing. 
So let's get the top eight cool hairstyles. And I'm gonna try to change my hair. I also think I'm gonna try to make some eyebrows and freckles, although they're not gonna look that great. There's something just so adorable about watering crops in this game. Look how cute this looks. Look at my tiny little pumpkin patch. I probably need to make a bigger one. I crafted one of the table mirrors and now I'm gonna go in here and grab my hairstyle. This ponytail one is the one that I always use. I'm typically wearing a hat, so I feel like it still looks a little bit weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Let's make some eyebrows. Eyebrows and freckles complete. I do wish that I had a lighter color to use for the freckles, but I haven't upgraded my custom design thing yet, so this is gonna have to do. I'm feeling more like myself. I need some glasses and I need a hat or a do-rag or something. So I think once again, I'm gonna do a little bit more harvesting off camera, but that is all I can get done for today. I think we're moving in the right direction. I'm gonna hang out right here by Poppy and Flora's house. And tomorrow we're gonna be able to find out who is moving into the last plot. And when that video is ready, it'll be on the screen for you to click on right now.